Hey guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. One click, one sub, one like and you are all set. Thank you so much for helping the channel. In this video, we're gonna try to understand what is special about this kid here from Italy. His name is Cesar Casadei. Listen, I completely de destroyed his name. I understand. I'm gonna take my time. I'm not Italian. I don't know how to pronounce certain names. It took me weeks to to learn how to pronounce Aspiliqueta, Giloboji, Kepa, Arisabalaga, now Chukwemeka. You see? So I'm gonna take my time, find an Italian to tell me exactly how to pronounce his name. And then I will be fine. So give me time. You know who we're talking about here. 19 years old, born in Italy, playing for um, Inter. Under 19, of course. And he made some appearances with the men team during this preseason. But now Chelsea are pushing and pushing and pushing to get him. And according to some sources, Lukaku can be included in the whole package here, right? Let's say if Inter want Lukaku for a certain amount of money, Chelsea are going to say, you know what? We're not going to pay you money for this kid here, Caesar. We're going to, you know, we're going to just uh, try to make some deals here. Anyways, I didn't find much even on YouTube. I found that he won two cups in the youth level back there in Italy. So it shows you that he's a, uh, he's a winner and he's captain of his team over there captain leader and some videos that are watched they are not really very clean because they are you know in the kid level you can't really judge somebody but he looks like uh, he tackles good he very he's very aggressive he can pin the ball he can top the ball whatever destination it is he looks like he got it but he's still a kid though he's still a kid so he's a, a central midfielder but can also play from different positions uh right footed of course defensive midfielder attacking midfielder central midfielder like he he can pretty much play everywhere in that midfield the market value is about 1.1 million but it's chelsea football club so when you come knocking even a kid is gonna cost you a fortune and we are fighting now to pay around 15 million wow so my question here is my friend bear with me here right? i'm not trying to suggest anything this is me thinking outside the box here if you look at our development squad slash academy right you will see how many of them we already signed? We signed every wonder kid around Europe. Beach. We signed him from Southampton, right? We go here. Uh, uh, Tim Carney, also goalkeeper that we signed from Paris. It was last season or two seasons ago. You go here, you see Abu. You know, this is Juan Castillo is another one. Um, you can go here. You can scroll down here every wonder kid around europe we signed them dylan very very good sturge that we just got from i don't know um brighton right you go there elliot haig hall look at this omari all the wonder kid that we keep on signing every single day veil why veil is not with the first team i don't know charlie webster this is the guy who can fight with the new guy Caesar because Charlie is 17, right? Almost 18 years old. The other guy is 19, so there's a difference here. Uh, Barto, look at those wonder kid. Awesome, awesome players in the academy. So we continue on signing when them. What is the plan? If for some people say that we are not an academy uh, team, we we are not Arsenal. So what the point of buying all the Wonder Kid around the world and then farm them in the academy? 
and we are paying them a lot of money like our academy kids can get even more money than certain teams uh, certain players in the first team in the premier league like they got like 10k a week 20k a week 30k a week what the hell of paying a lot of money on the kid that you're not gonna even use or you don't have any plan for their development that is the question all right my friend so let's go and confirm what uh, what is being said on social media here we go so fabrizio romano is the guy who pretty much confirmed the news by saying uh caesar whatever the last name has agreed personal terms with chelsea on six years deal decision made he's not joining nice or sassuolo as chelsea are closing on the deal to sign inter's 20 2003 born talent next official bid will be uh the right one to compare uh, to complete the deal for 15 million plus add-ons a little expensive but if we have a plan to develop this kid we could save a lot of money in the future just i don't know it doesn't look like we are going to use many kids but we keep on buying them so i don't know you let me know what do you think about the whole situation here so uh <laughs> Uh, Chukwe Meka is the he played a game with uh, with uh, under 19. They lost 3 0. So I don't even know what the plan for him is here. So, hmm. Very interesting indeed. Let me read some. Yeah, so you see, he been just confirming the same news over and over again. He tweeted about it like a thousand times uh, in one day. So it looks like we're going to get him very, very soon. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this uh, Caesar or Caesar guy. If you know him much more than I do. Because I tried to check on, you know, everywhere. I couldn't really find something proper to judge him. But he looks okay. He looks good. Everybody looks amazing on YouTube. So, all right. So, some break some not even breaking news some yeah everybody knows about it msm Palmieri deal west ham have approached chelsea to sign the italian left back todd Bowley made it clear only want to sell emerson on permanent deal no loan yeah we are so tired of loaning them out yeah this time even if we're gonna sell them for cheap just get rid of them uh, nice niece not not nice niece offered loan move in july and it was rejected no more talks it it's currently very quiet so emerson man it's time for you to go we have cucurella we have chili i think it's it's more than enough for now um what else okay so i wanted to mention this one people how the hell wolves is signing this guy Okay, I quote, Wolves are now closing on Math Matthew Nunes' deal with Sporting Agreement on 45 million plus 5 million add-ons. Oh my goodness. As talks on player side are still ongoing and progressing. Wolves hope to complete uh, every details of the deal this week will be a club record fee. So my question is, so many online experts sold us this guy as the next coming of whatever. M M Michael Essien or, you know, Michael Balak or whatever. Listen, why big teams are not going for him? Is there any issue or just they don't know how to scout? Why Chelsea are not going for him knowing that we don't have any creativity in the midfield? Listen, me, I don't hype people, okay? I don't know much about him. I just heard about him, what people said. Watched some videos. He scores amazing long shot uh, goals. But other than that, I don't know the details too much about him. There's a reason why 
Manchester City or Liverpool or Chelsea or Manchester United they are not going for him but he can develop at Wolves and watch him be a 100 million player in a couple of season from now so i don't know do you think that we missed out on this deal and we could have taken advantage and spent 50 more million on a midfielder i think we have so many midfielders at the moment but i don't know man i don't know what how to make about this one so let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the whole situation obamiang still the same chelsea negotiating blah 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 i don't know man <laughs> nothing really to report in the chelsea community at the moment hakim ziyech moving to manchester united i'm not going to be opposed i want him to play football and prove people wrong that he can even do it in the premier league contrary to all the speculations and all the theories that people are making about him not being physical enough to be in the premier league fofana and gordon might both have to to go with a, a transfer request if they want their move to chelsea uh, over the line both pushing hard chelsea optimistic on both so yeah gordon I made a video about him and it looks like he, he's going to push to come to Chelsea. I don't know. And then also same old same old when it comes to uh for Fana. So they have to push, they have to put transfer request and all that. So I don't know what's going to happen really, but let me know in this in the comment section down below. Uh, if we 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 can sign somebody this week so no obamiang no anthony gordon and also no fofana so far but good news might come this week because we really need some signings right now okay